Well, hello there, everyone. Today we're doing this. Doing this. This is uh, called the yellow flash, or or uh, the yellow lightning. It's a uh, it's a fairly famous uh, uh, salmon and sea trout fly uh, for 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 the Danish rivers. Um, it's 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 made by a guy called uh, Kim Sørensen. Uh, a, a great, great, very, very well-renowned uh, Danish uh, salmon fisherman uh, who invented this some years ago and caught um, an enormous amount of fish on, on this particular pattern. So it's a proven pattern and uh, and uh, I'm doing this not in the completely the original uh, version but it's it's very very similar so so I'm going to call it the, the the yellow flash variant. You, we, let's call it a variant. Um, the first thing we need is um, uh, is to to make kind of like a layer of uh, of tying thread here, and then we need to, to tie in a small tail. And uh, for this pattern, the small tail is going to be comprised of uh, of fluorofiber. As always, if you haven't, uh, if if you want to see the full the material list, then simply click in the corner here, in the corner here, and you'll see the full material list in the shop. And also, you will see the full uh, material kit for actually tying this entire fly. And and you can you can simply just with with a few clicks, you can you can order the the entire material kit, and you can you can correct if there is something that you have already, then uh, or or you don't want, or you want to sub sub substitute for something else you can simply just unclick on the uh, on the different uh, different materials but well the first thing as i said is is going to be fluorofiber i took a small bundle and then i simply i i doubled it i'm going to tie this here the fluorofiber is really nice for for tails on uh, on summer flies it has this kind of unique sparkly not too shiny glow that really really looks awesome and the the way you you taper a tail like this is simply just you cut diagonally with your scissors and then you have a perfectly tapering uh, tail. Then I'm gonna tie a bit further up here along the uh, the the tube here. I'm gonna make sure all of this material is on top to ensure that this is fairly even. Uh, looking in proportions and stuff like that, uh, because the next thing we need is is a tinsel body. Oh, like this. And of course, depending on how big you want the fly, the the longer you should make this uh, this tinsel part of uh, of the f of the fly here. I don't want this to be too big, and uh, and some of this is going to be covered by the uh, by 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 the by the by the, the thing that's going to comprise the weight by this uh, flexi bead from uh, from Pro Sports Fisher. So so I think this is about adequate. And then I'm going to take some uh, some mylar tinsel. Simply tie this in here. I'm gonna whip it around and then move this down the body here. It's not that important if the first step of this is actually completely covering everything because we're gonna of course move it back again. And then and then it's important to actually cover everything. So the body is completely covered here. Like this. I'm gonna tie this down. Cut everything off. Uh, apply a bit of super glue to make sure the uh, body stays there, but also to make sure that the uh, the beat will stay there. Do a whip finish. Cutting off the thread, taking my bead, and as you can see now, the bead is has actually uh, eaten up a bit of the uh, of the body because the body is, uh, is is inside of the bead here. But this bead really is a nice addition. And the original pattern, this was made of, of dubbing. But this bead gives it uh, that that crucial amount of weight that is uh, very very needed in uh, at least in 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 uh, in uh, many of the Danish salmon rivers. So so I think this is a nice addition. It's not the original one, but I think it's a it's a nice addition to the fly here. Um, and uh, and it looks it looks rather well also I think. 
So it, it, it also will help uh, ensure that the wing, that the sunken wing we're going to add is going to be lifted into the current because it's, it has a fairly large diameter, this one. So it will, it will, it will simply perform on, on a lot of different parameters and, uh, and really, really make this fly uh, uh, even, well, dare I say, even better. <laughs> I don't know. I, I prefer it this way, I think. Um, and now we need a, a whiting spay hackle in orange. Um, this is to give the fly sort of uh, some more movement and uh, and also some uh, some some longer feathers that really really will make this uh, this move more erratic in the water and have something that just you know tickles the on the on this <laughs> tickles the salmon and the sea trout and uh, and spay feathers are just yeah legendary like this. Remove the the hackle stump. And take my hackle plier. Oops. There's, that's something you don't see every day. A CF design hackle plier that actually lets go of something. It's uh, the the bit broke. That would explain it. The feather broke, not the, not the hackle plier, of course. So basically, do an orange spay hackle. Like this. And as you can see, those really, really will move very, very, very nicely in the water. This, this is again very, very great for for the Danish rivers, uh, because we have a bit slower current than, for instance, Norway and stuff like that. So, so, uh, so this will make uh, excellent, excellent movement, and it will not completely collapse. Uh, as it probably will, will as it maybe would do in in a very, very uh, rough, uh, rough river conditions. The next thing we need is uh, is the sunker wing. Uh, for for this this fly I've used this is a, a Magnum sunker wing uh, from from Hairline. Um, and uh, what I've done to to this is actually I've, I have a sort of tool I can fasten it. It's called a lobster grip, and I have sh made a video. Uh, a video, full video about how to make songer wings. But what I've done is, as you can see, I have tapered this down. So it comes from a very wide diameter, and then it tapers down. Uh, because if it tapers, it will give the fly a better movement in the water, but also a more realistic and more, more, uh, more, more correct uh, appearance out in the water. The only thing that is left is, is to simply just, you know, notice how long do you want this fly to be. I want mine to be about this length. And because sometimes you see that it's not that bad with this one, but with some of these, uh, some of these uh, rabbits, there, there's, there's too much leather on the, uh, on, on here. So basically, what I do is, is I take my scissors and then I carefully remove some of the excess, uh, excess skin. Uh, as you can see, I hope you can see that. I simply carefully, without cutting into the, uh, without cutting all the way through, I simply remove some of the, uh, some of the excess uh, uh, leather here, to uh, to to give uh, my fly a, a smaller. Uh, to to give it, it first of all it will move better but also it will it will give my fly a smaller head when I tie this down using a bit of saliva to hold the hackle in check and I want my hackle to uh, my 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 wing to be about this length here. 
And as you see, I don't cut off the f the, heather the hairs because um, if I leave them there, it will give them a better looking fly because I will have the hairs tapering all the way to, to the front here, like this. There we go. Now I'm careful to trim this as closely as I can, of course. <laughs> Looks awesome. And as you can see, the 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 bead here really helps keep the wing very high. And this will this will ensure that the wing will will be moved up into the current and really will will activate the wing so so it really really swims well. Okay. Next thing we need is uh, is a yellow hackle, and uh, and for this I'm going to use a yellow soft hackle. Um, here, yellow soft hackle from uh, from Feathermaster. Uh, these are nice. It's this is a hen. So it has the the right tapering and uh, and stuff like that. And uh, this has two functions. First of all, it's of course it will add life and and give this fly a more more complete uh, silhouette. But it also helps us the fly tires out because um, this gives me a chance to cover this fairly fairly large head that I've uh, made from uh, from from using the uh, the uh, from 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 where I attached the uh, the Songer wing. As you can see, what I do now is, is basically I. I turn a couple, take a couple of turns on top of the, the 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 point where I tied down the wing, like so, and then I move just in front of it, just in front of it, and this way, <laughs> I should have taken out some of this. I can do that now. This way, you get a a more complete looking fly. Due to the uh, front hackle, uh, but also you get a nice and 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 should I do one more turn? Yeah, I should. Like so, you get a nice and smaller base for making your head here, and that's a very nice thing with these front hackles. If you find yourself ever having trouble uh, with the heads of the flies here, you can uh, you can always just add another front hackle. <laughs> just add a, just add a front hackle if you think that uh, that your head is too big, then that can uh, very very uh, very very greatly reduce the uh, the size of of your of your head, like so. And then we need a jungle cock. Artificial jungle cock. Jungle cock is hard to come by, so so I use these artificial ones from Pro Sports Fisher. Uh, they are the best I've ever seen. Uh, they're called jungle cock HD. They're not that expensive. They're they're less expensive than than the real th than the real thing. And uh, they're very durable, very nice looking, and uh, and uh, and uh, and and they do not affect the flies' movement in the water. Well, everything of course has an effect on everything, but but the, the effect here is minimal, so so the fly will move uh, as it should with these attached also. So I'll take a couple of these. This is the size extra small, I think. Attach one on this side and one on the other side. Like this, and then we need a few strands of flesh. Two or three will suffice of this crystal flesh here. You could use angel hair in gold as well, but I like this uh, crystal flesh. It's nice to, to, nice and easy to use, and it looks awesome in the water. 
So just a few strands and they should not be as long as the wing. They should spread out a bit on top of the wing but they should be a bit shorter than the wing. Like just like that. I'm gonna do a whip finish. And then I'm gonna add as the finishing touch a fluorescent uh, orange um, cone head. So you have here a fly that is meant for murky water, meant to get get down and dirty deep, um, and uh, and uh, a fly that that fishes very very efficiently. I'm I'm fairly certain that this fly would be great for steel heads or for for any type of other type of of not Atlantic salmon, but but really really an awesome awesome looking fly that fishes very very well. It's not too expensive. It's not it's not too uh, too difficult to make. It's just you know a great looking pattern that uh, that really can uh, can get the job done. So. Thank you very much for watching um, and uh, of course as always remember to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't then please please visit my web shop. Um, um, it's uh, it's nordiganglers.com Thank you for, for tuning in and uh, good luck out on the waters.